Hello everybody, welcome back to A Slug's Dream. Let's get that cursor off the screen for one, and then let's see what's happening over on this end of things. Trampoline. I remember seeing this. I remember being bamboozled by this. So we need to eat the flower and get out. Well, getting out is easy if we can get in here. And what I'm immediately thinking about is, as ever, trying to get the portal to be upright. But if I can do that, who knows? Because what I would like to do is get this to be upright next to the flower. But whether I can do that or not is a whole other kettle of fish. But I need to pick an orientation and stick with it because left and right doesn't work as well on diagonals. So that gets me to here, obviously, but it leaves me entirely without a way up. I cannot push this towards here. So what else can I do with this one single piece? Because I'm almost certainly not pushing the tall piece up here down. Because then I'd have no way to ever get back up. I can't move this piece upwards because I can't push through the teleporter this is just no help to me at all it feels like a puzzle where there are so few options about where to move this piece that I should be able to eliminate them all reasonably quickly. Except I can't. Now, I can get to here, or here. This is a position I have yet to explore, but it does not feel like one that is useful. What if instead, well, no, because if I tip this way over, I can never be on the water to push it further towards the top of the screen here. Now hold on. Is there ever a world? Wait, 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 okay. That, that's it. Great stuff. Okay. A nice, fast solve to start. Fire corridor. It is just these two pieces and that long line of fire. How am I ever... Because th this looks like it should be sufficient. You're like, oh, he's done it, right? But the problem is... I can't turn around from here and eat that flower. So it gets crushed under my tail. And then I'm out of luck. So I need to figure out something else to do about that. What, though? Unbeknownst to me. Because I'm wondering if there's ever perhaps a world where after I've eliminated some of the fire, I can't tip that over. What I would like to do, perhaps, 
is tip this over in such a way that I can get to the other flower. Well. I don't suppose I can ever move the leftmost portal to the left, can I? I don't think I can. Because I can't also do this. That burns me. I can do this, but probably to very little benefit. This little corner here is cut off. I don't know if that has implications to the solve or not. The other thing I can do is I can either have this be one up. Well, I've just had an alternate thought, which is... That what I could do somehow is I can always come out through here if it does it in a way that doesn't get me wet. But I don't know how that is beneficial to me. I can't tip that over from here. That seems bad. And this is not far enough over. Well, mm, no, I was just thinking that if this were the other way up, when, <gasps> I lucked onto the answer, but I'm totally here for it. <laughs> okay. Well, do I think I can luck into the answer here? Probably not. Right, so I start with the capacity to go through here. And I need to push that to the right. But I also need to get back. Now, I can't move the green stone forward. Oh, sorry, I can't move the stone forward in front of the green one. Wait, I can. I can do that. Then what I want to do... is push it one to the left. Now, I can't get into the middle. Except... I still can. Except I haven't pushed the stone one into the middle yet. Because I need the stone one here to push that left, is what I think I want. But how I get that stone piece over to there, currently a mystery. Well, how about, how about this instead? Or even, even, if I do that, I need the other one to be the other way up, which I can do. That goes through there. Then this tips over. I think that might need to be facing me so that I can still go through it. Except that completely locks me out of getting over to the left because I can't now get in the teleporter. So for as smart as all that feels, 
It is not productive. Some good minor manipulations, but not ones that get me to a solution. I don't think there's a world where I can tip this over to be horizontal from where I am. The only thing I could do, but I don't think it's helpful, is drown myself. No. I can do that. But I don't think this assists me in any way. Although, hold on. What if? What if? Before I do that, I do this. I don't know why I thought this would help me. Because I need the stone on the left. Nope, that doesn't help me. All right, what if we get weird? What if I use my famed ability to break things? Now I'm over here. Does this help me? Now if I tip this down, I can move it down one using the green one. Actually, I don't even need to use the green one. Ah, oh, it's the wrong way up. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let there be water. And then... Hold on. I have no idea if that was intended or not. My best guess is it wasn't. You managed to solve it without entering portals nor putting stones into portals. I love this game, man. This is great. Uh, lovely developer who I know watches my videos. Thank you for making such a lovely game and thanks for letting me break it in so many interesting ways. So that's these done. There's still double trouble that I'm saving for last just because I fancy doing so. So what have I missed? I know there's some cacti puzzles. There's barbs and double climb and reach it. But the cacti puzzles trip me out. We should probably get to secluded. I must have done enough stuff to have learnt what I can do here now with what I have. Now, there is a piece behind here, so I can manipulate this out. What else can we do with this? I can make things very wet and make it completely impossible for me to get back over there. So, probably not that. Now, I, I'm not sure what I'm doing with these stones. I mean, I'm not sure what I'm doing with any of this level, let's be honest. But that lets me get through there. Now my problem becomes, I still can't 
get back over to anywhere safe like this. That makes a lot of water, most of which I can't cross over. If I could put the stone piece in front of this piece to stop the water flow after I've doused the fires, that would be cool. But I can't tip this up. I don't even know where I can realistically move this stone piece. I can put it there. Which almost gives me an island around this. Is there ever a world I can just use both as island pieces? Because there's no... Uh, there's no back piece for me to push. Well, hold on. Hmm... This might be interesting. Let's do that. Let's try and remember what I did. I pushed it to the right from the left. If I simply... I say simply with a great big asterisk. If I could... Set this one up... To point towards the right... with the movement I have available, I could flood water out of this one from the right-hand one, rather than the inverse being true. Well, let's start with a proof of concept. So that works. I can also put that there. Can I put that there facing the other way up? I absolutely can. And if I did that first, the water wouldn't be ruining my trip. So... How did I do this? Closer. I might need to roll it a bit before I tip it. Except, can I roll it before I tip it? I guess I could tip it earlier. Because I can... Uh, I can stand on this and then tip. And then tip again. Now, do I have a problem that I can't move it to the right? So that goes to there. I have water. It's on the wrong side. That's probably important as well. I just want that water to come out facing the fires. And I'm sure there must be an orientation I can do that with. Again, this might not even be remotely the correct solution. It's just the one I've manipulated myself towards.
and now I'm determined to make it work. So that works. That works. That works beautifully. Nice. Okay. Great progress today. We are all done over here. Raise. Oh, raise. I need to come... The, the trick here is trying to exit the level when the level entrance is facing the exact wrong direction. Because I need to either come out of a teleporter that's facing upwards, which seems unlikely, or kind of build a way for me to be approaching this upright in the right spot, which also seems unlikely. And my brain is not gelling with that. What else do we have? This is back where we started, where we... The end of last episode, I was looking at these. So, I know that I can do this to eat the flowers. Now. How am I going to get that high? Because this is no higher than I started. Can I tip? Could I? If these were the other way around. Hold on. So if this one was at the back, I need... Right. Could I ever tip this on there? I can. How can I use that to my favor? Is my question. That feels like it is a mechanic that would be explored here. I just am not certain quite how. Get my flowers first. It wouldn't be the first time I've solved a puzzle having not done the basic objective before the complicated puzzle solving part. Also, I can set this upright. However, it's actually too tall to present me a convenient exit from the level. Though I wonder what happens if I do the following thing. So, I have an exit close to where I want to be, but not quite where I want to be. Like, even if I did this here, I'm in the wrong orientation, I'm not close enough to where I want to be. The other thing that I'm now thinking of, we reset again. Every time. I make that mistake every time. The thing I'm now thinking about is... Except, as I've manipulated stuff, I've kind of lost the mental framework of the thing I was thinking of. I want the other end of this, so I need to push this, like that, and then tip that over. So I can't have these 
kind of combine into one giant component. Which is a shame, but I understand. Because as ever, the thing that you can't really do mechanically is get a portal to face upwards because when you try and tip it up to the portal face the game says no although although hold on what if there was a stone i could tip over so the portal was upright instead ha 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 I would like that whole thing to be one further over so that I can manipulate it once it's upright. And perhaps I only make it that tall. Now I have a platform I can work with. Unfortunately, I can't work with any of this. But I have something I can... I have a brain thread that I can work with. And I didn't make the mistake. So... That to be that tall, I think. And there. And this. Well. This to be that tall. And there. I can't stand on that. Ah. It's a damn shame. This whole thing doesn't have climbable resistance. It was going so smoothly and everything. What can I do as I contemplate whether I am going to sneeze or not. Well, okay. If the two pieces are next to one another, I can't push one into the other in this direction. However, we come back to before I tipped this. this is this way, if, th if that is that long, I clearly can't climb that. And also it doesn't help. It doesn't work. And if they are the same length at this stage, well, it looks like it's always a three and a two. Doesn't it? The three's great. Love the three. The two. The two is the tricky part. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. So, I need to flip one of these around, which is easier said than done. Basically, what I have now, I can get up to here, and then from here, I need to come up one, and then down onto one that is one higher, I think. No, I already did that, and then I don't have this. What was that? What was my brain just thinking about then? Or I was just thinking about the incorrect solution I already found. Well, what if the whole thing was further over, and I could do the whole tr the same trick twice? I can't do the same trick twice. So 
So that causes me to fall. But if that's there, I can't do that. And if this is here, that's too tall. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Probably something small and simple. How else could I manipulate these two pieces? I feel like I must be very close. I can't have the portals bumped up against each other to be resistive if they're both facing upwards. So what if they weren't both facing upwards? What if... I did something like... This has to be the exact correct spot. That won't go there. Which is a shame. Because I wanted... The two... I wanted this face of the red one... To be touching... The, red, the other red one... So that they wouldn't be able to pass through one another... But apparently, angles say no. No, I'm stumped. And we are well at our regular half hour of puzzling. But I'm really happy with the progress I've made. Let's just... See if I can't get a count of how many puzzles we are now remaining with. From the lowest section, I think we've got everything that isn't the cacti stuff done. So it's three here. Then all of this low down stuff is done. This island over here. Sorted, mate. Finished it. There's a fourth one in rays. Five, six, seven. And is it just the eighth one over here? Yep, we're down to eight puzzles remaining. So hopefully we can get those in reasonably good time for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.